the Roman Emperor at the time of Jesus' birth? At the time of Jesus' birth, the Roman Emperor was Caesar Augustus, who reigned from 27 BCE to 14 CE. Born Gaius Octavius Thurinus, Caesar Augustus rose to power following the demise of his great-uncle Julius Caesar and the subsequent civil war that engulfed the Roman Republic. He emerged victorious as the sole ruler of the Roman world, ushering in an era of peace and stability known as the Pax Romana, or Roman Peace. Caesar Augustus implemented various administrative reforms, expanded the empire's territories, and promoted cultural patronage and religious syncretism. His reign witnessed significant developments in infrastructure, governance, and imperial cult worship, shaping the socio-political landscape of the Mediterranean world. The reign of Caesar Augustus is of particular significance in Christian tradition due to its connection with the events surrounding the birth of Jesus Christ. According to the Gospel of Luke, Caesar Augustus issued a decree ordering a census of the Roman world, prompting Joseph and Mary to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, thus fulfilling messianic prophecies concerning the Messiah's birthplace. Caesar Augustus' reign serves as a historical backdrop to the unfolding of God's redemptive plan in the person of Jesus Christ, the true King and Savior of the world. What does it mean to walk worthy of the calling in Ephesians 4 verse 1? To walk worthy of the calling means to live a life that reflects the character and purpose God has called us to. This involves humility, gentleness, patience, and bearing with one another in love, striving to maintain unity in the Spirit. How can we learn about God's character from the Bible? The Bible reveals God's character through His actions, teachings, and the life of Jesus Christ. We learn that God is loving, just, merciful, and faithful, among other attributes. What are God's promises in the Scripture? God's promises include salvation, eternal life, provision, guidance, and presence. These promises are often conditional upon faith and obedience. What actions does God take in the Bible? God creates, sustains, judges, redeems, and restores. He interacts with humanity by providing guidance, delivering from danger, and offering forgiveness.